Welcome back to the eighth segment of Stock Talk. And for this month's edition, we're going to take a look back at the top performing stocks in 2011. Of course, I'm here with Sabine, Product Trading Specialist at Morningstar Canada. Well, with the market down 8.7% in 2011, I decided to run a screen to find the top 50 performing stocks in terms of total return. All stocks had to be in the top half of our universe in terms of size, and I excluded takeover targets from the list. That's a great idea. And just a reminder, Sabine used CPMS, which is Morningstar's quantitative equity research service utilized by fund managers across the country. So Sabine, tell us what you found. Well, 28 of the 50 stocks were in the energy and material sector, so those sectors definitely dominated the list. Before you continue, for all the DIY investors watching, is there any way investors could have pick these stocks that end up performing so well in 2011 or or basically any characteristics that really stood out? Well I'm really glad that you asked that. So after screening for the top 50 stocks as of December 31st 2011, I used CPMS to view the attributes of these same stocks at the start of the year to see if there was any characteristics that would have helped you pick these stocks at the beginning of this time period. And a few things really stood out that were in common for this entire list. Uh, The top performing stocks at the end of the year had positive estimate revisions, good sales, cash flow, and earnings momentum, and a higher yield relative to the market. So those are some great factors to consider when you're looking for stocks for your portfolio. That's really interesting. And I'm sure everyone wants to know what were the top 10 stocks in 2011. They were Poseidon Concepts, Trilogy Energy, Lumina Copper, Orbit Illuminae, Coastal Energy, Scorpio Mining, Engex Resources, Westport Innovations, Black Diamond Group, and Valiant Pharmaceutical. Again, we see that seven out of the top 10 stocks are in the energy and materials sector. So the trend that we saw with our top 50 stocks definitely held for the top 10 as well. Was it a good year for commodities? Well, oil and gold really stood out. In 2011, gold was up 11.65% and oil was up 14.08%. The rest of the precious metals, unfortunately, didn't fare as well, but we definitely saw some strength in oil and gold. Thanks so much, Sabine. Just a reminder, Sabine is not providing financial advice. We encourage you to speak with a planner or advisor before selecting stocks. CPMS software is only available to institutional clients and investment advisors. However, you can find free stock quotes just using the search box at the top of the screen on Morningstar.ca.